It's been a joke for ages, but the sense that men avoid therapy is way more true than it is false, and for some very good reasons too. It's not like men don't want to solve their problems, it's even that we don't want help. It's that there are so few places that a man can go to to get the help he needs in the way that he actually needs it. Dr. Sean Smith and Tanner Guzzi, uh, both men I respect, wrote an article back in 2022 talking about why men avoid therapy. It was a great article, I'll link it below, it made some incredibly good points. But I think that there were some things that it missed, some things that it glossed over, especially for guys like me who aren't conventional. I'm not part of conventional society. I'm not a part of a traditional society like Tanner Guzzi is. And so there's some things that are a little bit different for guys like me. First of all, most therapists, especially here in the West, are forced into using a disorder-based model in order to just get paid. You have to have a certain diagnostic code that says you have a certain disorder in order for the insurance company to pay for your care. And there's a huge stigma attached to that. A man doesn't want to be seen as broken in order to get help dealing with some kind of difficult situation in his life. It's a big enough hit to most men's egos just to even need help in the first place. To not be strong enough to handle things on your own, to not know enough on your own. Doesn't need the additional stigma of being told he's broken, that he's disordered, there's something mentally wrong with him, just in order to be able to get help. Second, a lot of the things that men deal with, a lot of the things that men are struggling with, doesn't actually rise to the level of stuff that you'd need a PhD to actually address. Things like you know dating and relationship issues, uh, productivity stuff, mindset stuff, um, so dealing with social interactions at work and elsewhere. This is the kind of thing that's actually better addressed and solved by networking with other men who know what they're doing. Back in the day, we had uncles to teach us this stuff, right? After work, you'd hang out, have beers with the grizzled old veterans of life and learn from all their mistakes. But things like that in real life are actually increasingly less common these days, especially here in the woke West. So these days, in a lot of ways, online communities are your best bet. Online communities focused on male self-improvement, right? I can wholeheartedly endorse the ones run by guys like Rich Cooper, Troy Francis, Ryan Stone, Paul Benjamin, uh, and John from Modern Life Dating. All those have got great communities with a lot of amazing guys who are focused on helping guys learn the skills that they can't get anywhere else. Third, there's really huge questions around effectiveness. See, if a man goes to solve a problem, then he wants it fucking solved. He doesn't want to be given medication and pills just to mask the symptoms, leave him a walking zombie, and leave him dependent upon medication just to let him feel half alive. He doesn't want to have to lay on a couch for hour after hour after week after week talking about how he feels about his mother. Now, I've been in and out of therapy for years. I spent about a decade in and out of therapy after I had a major depressive episode in 2009, going through my second divorce, things like that. And I can definitely say that it helped in a lot of ways. It helped me give perspective on the things I was going through at the time. It helped me work out a few of my issues, get some uh, perspective on some of the things that have happened in my past. But ultimately, it never really helped me resolve any of the underlying issues that are still present years and years later, decades later. I've made a heck of a lot more progress, a heck of a lot faster, and I have a lot more effectively using other modalities. Now, there are some kinds of therapy that tend to produce results faster and better than others. Things like cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectic-based therapy, and internal family systems are a few kinds of therapy that I know people have gotten great results with, clients that I've worked with have gotten great results with in the past. Now, it's important to note that there are times when seeing a therapist or a psychologist is absolutely critical. If you've been dealing with persistent negative intrusive thoughts, right, you're always thinking about doom and gloom. It's always there. It's always in your head and it never goes away. Especially if you've had any thoughts of like giving up on life, things just like not being worth it anymore or actually hurting yourself, get some serious professional help immediately. Suicidal thoughts are nothing to mess with. And I can say this from deep personal experience. When you're that low, you need the help of a trained professional. And no, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. I'm a hypnotist. All right. I'd be happy to work with you afterwards when you're a better place, when you're more stable, to help you do the deeper work to resolve the issues that got you there in the first place. So if therapy is not the answer, then what is? What should you be doing instead? Well, first of all, if you don't have a community, get one as soon as humanly possible. Find a fraternity, find a fraternal order, find an online community. This is probably going to be the biggest change you can make for yourself and the best change you can make for yourself in the short term to give yourself the advice on general life issues like dating and relationships and social issues and mindset and productivity work. All right. It's going to give you the general support you need just to make it through life on a day-to-day -day basis. It's huge, a major, major change. Make sure you've got that in your life. Second, if you're struggling with something specific, then get yourself a coach of some kind. Somebody who is actually an expert in that field that can show you the things that you're doing wrong, things that are not working for you, and help you understand how to do them better, how to fix the thing that's not working. Right, guys like 
Paul uh, from Apex Mindset, John from Modern Life Dating, Troy Francis, they run regular courses, regular group coaching sessions every quarter, sometimes more, to help guys learn anything they need to get ahead in life. Third, if you've been struggling with persistent negative behaviors, patterns of behaviors in your life, then it's time to do the deep work because there's something else going on rather than just not knowing how to do something or not having the right support community. That's when you need to reach out to somebody like me. That's my specialty. I dig down in the deep, dark corners of your mind, help unearth the patterns of behavior and the things and the bad programs that are holding you back, help you install new programs to help you do things better and to do that fast. Now, there's definitely times and situations where you need to enlist the help of a skilled therapist or psychologist or psychiatrist. Uh, personally, I've been dealing with a lot of issues that seem to be associated with ADHD. You know, my two youngest children have ADHD. They also have Asperger's. I've seen some signs of that stuff. And so I'm gonna be doing some testing to figure out what it is that's going on with my brain that's not working correctly. That's making it harder for me to do stuff that should be easy. That's gonna give me some insight that I can't really get in any other way. That's where they focus, is when the brain, when the mind, when your body biochemistry, for whatever reason, is not working normally. That's where they're best, right? Abnormal psychology. And that's gonna give me a lot more insight into why I'm doing some of the things I'm doing, why it's hard for me to do some of the things that I wanna do. And it's giving me new strategies be able to deal with that in a better way, in a more effective way. But if you're not dealing with an issue like that, where there may actually be some sort of disorder going on, oftentimes there's better options that exist that are get you where you want to be faster. So you're often better off going for those things first.